Hi all. Welcome to our biology classroom. Today we are going to start a new chapter. Genetics for the future. The chapter is based on gene. Before entering into the chapter, let's recall the structure of the nucleus. The cell contains center nucleus. The nucleus has nuclear membrane and nucleoplasm. In the nucleoplasm, we can see nucleolus and chromatin reticulum. This chromatin reticulum changes to chromosome, which shows hereditary character. That means genes are seen in the chromosome. And that genes contains DNA, which is called deoxyribonucleic acid, which is a double stranded. With these genes, science has progressed in such a way that it can produce organisms with desirable qualities by bringing about changes in the genetic material. Genetic Engineering Genetic Engineering means it is a technology of controlling trait or characters of an organism by bringing about desirable changes in the genetic constitutions of organisms. In the beginning of this chapter, have you noticed Saju's doubt when he heard the doctor's talk in the seminar conducted by the health club? How can a bacteria produce insulin that can be used by humans? Have a look. We already learned that the beta cells in the pancreas extract insulin. If the beta cells get destroyed, the production of insulin get disrupted. Through genetic engineering method, artificial insulin can be extracted from the bacteria. Now let's have a look how it is possible. From human DNA, cut the gene responsible for the production of insulin and from the bacteria circular DNA of bacterium or plasmid is isolated. Cutting the insulin gene using genetic scissor or restriction endonuclease and a small portion of plasmid also cut using genetic scissor. Using genetic glues joining insulin gene with plasmid. The plasmid with ligated insulin gene is inserted into the bacterial cell. The bacteria that multiply in the culture medium produce inactive insulin. Active insulin is produced from this. From BC 4000 onwards, organisms like yeast, a kind of fungus, were used to prepare food items like bread. The ability of fungi and bacteria to convert sugar into alcohol was utilized to make wine, appam and cake. These can be considered as traditional methods of biotechnology. Genetic engineering is a modern form of biotechnology. The enzymes are used to cut and join the genes. The enzymes restriction endonuclease is used to cut the genes. This enzyme is also known as genetic scissor. The enzyme ligase is used for joining. This enzyme is called genetic glues. Students, write this indicator in your notebook. 
Next is the scope of genetic engineering. Gene therapy, genetically modified animals and crops, forensic test. These are the three scopes of genetic engineering. First one is the gene therapy. Genetic engineering has made a great leap in the treatment of genetic diseases. Genetic diseases such as hemophilia, sickle cell anemia, diabetic etc. Gene therapy is a method of treatment in which genes that are responsible for diseases are removed and normal functional genes are inserted in their place. This has triggered great hope in the control of genetic diseases. Now look at Tara's doubt. How can the genes that are responsible for diseases be identified from among thousands of microscopic genes? Let's clear her doubt. It is through Human Genome Project. The technology known as gene mapping helps to identify the location of genes in the DNA which is responsible for a particular trait. The complete genetic material present in an organism is called its genome. In human DNA, majority of the genes except the genes that code for protein are non-functional. They are called junk genes. Human genome has about 24,000 functional genes. Major share of human DNA includes junk genes. There is only 0.2% difference in DNA among humans. About 200 genes in human genome are identical to those in bacteria. Students, only this much for today. Watch the video whenever you get time because this chapter is totally different from other chapter. Okay, thank you.